Salutations, this is Grim Devel. Welcome back to our Let's Play of Caves of Cud. We are Moru Moon, the Marauder. We are level 8. Uh, and uh, as you can see on the nice user interface, we also have, as you can see, a 108 movement speed because of our additional legs. We have 6 armor value, 1 dodge value, 4 mental armor. Um, and we are pretty encumbered, but not overly encumbered. I think this is what day it is. Is that right? Um, someone asked in the comments how you get this UI because it's not by default, and that is true. Um, if you, with the latest version, the latest, you know, Tomb of the Eaters uh, version, if you go to options and you go on down to. Is it overlay UI? No, it's uh, here. I think it's use pre release stage screen. If I turn this off, Oh, yeah. See how different that is? That's what it used to look like. Um, and now uh, it looks much, much better with this. Uh, now, that you also need, I think, the overlay. Um, I think you need to, you know, <laughs> I, I don't remember what I used to have on, but uh, use these options. Uh, all three of these pre-release options. Um, show the overlay message log and status bar. Um, the touch button bar, phone button bar, don't have those on unless you're playing on a phone, which I don't even think is released yet. I think those are experimental. I could be wrong about that. Um, yeah, there you go. So much better. Oh, so much better. Uh, so here we are. We're in the rust well. Uh, we're four strata deep. It also says that over here. Um, very cool. And I think, uh, let's not. Yeah, there's nowhere to go down. We're just going to explore all these other directions a little more. Um, oh, there was something going on over there. Oh! Okay. Not a problem. Let's back up, though. Ooh, stuff's happening. Yeah, these things are all fine. They give us decent XP, too, so... Nice. All right, not even hurting us. Yeah, we're almost level nine. Come at me. I have a feeling there's a um, centipede spotter. Trash monk is neutral. We'll talk to you. Uh, you have some arrows. Um, do we have anything that we want to sell you? Maybe. Yeah. Uh, we don't necessarily need the boom rose arrows I can't um identify no you won't identify stuff let's sell you um we have we have all this uh all these corpse parts uh yeah all this stuff um and get more water from you why not um I think it's better than carrying all this stuff we have a lot of water now, actually. Maybe we have too much water. Uh, that's fine. Seven. Why does that cost seven? It's just an iron longsword. We get seven for that? Does this guy just give us really good prices? What's going on? No, I guess I guess it just is worth a lot. All right. Um, go for it. Cool. That helps our encumbrance a little bit. Uh, yeah, there's more stuff over to the right. Uh, makes me a little nervous. I think we're fine. Excellent. Um, we got an attribute point, and we have over 300 skill points. This is it. 29 strength, and now we can get... Berserk. Very cool. Now, the last game we played uh, when we were a true kin, we got Charging Strike before Berserk, Decapitate before Berserk. Um, and that's interesting because we had higher... You start with higher attributes as true kin. But by virtue of... Well, two things, I guess. One, not the max attribute... The max starting attribute value is the same, 24. Uh, so it's just that our other stats are lower, but our strength has been the same. And we started with Cleave. Um, 
we st- and and uh, axe proficiency. Like we started with better stuff, uh, better skills. Now we have berserk. We are truly a berserker. Much earlier than last time. Uh, can we scroll down here? Yeah. Okay. Uh. Oh yeah, we should probably we should probably use this mutation point. Um, multiple arms is still just one mutation point. Um, I think we're gonna keep doing that. Increasing chances for additional attacks. That's always going to be nice. All right, uh, wait. Yep, there's the egg. Oof. Um, I don't like our position here, but... All right, can we... Let's charge the uh, egg here. Okay, it's destroyed. Let's dismember. Okay, cool. This is all fine. Glow pad up there. Getting attacked and glowing. All right, that was good experience. This very. Maybe we should have let him keep spawning. All right, let's heal up. Oh, there might be another one. Glow crow is neutral. Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure there's another one. Let's get out of here for a sec. I just want to heal up. Good. That trash monk might die because they're just not as... You know, the NPCs are not as smart or discerning. But this is still good experience. Let's... Yeah, there's the egg. Awesome, awesome. Charge it. Fantastic. Look how good we are. All right, heal up. We're already close to, like, we're more than halfway to level 10. That was awesome. I guess I could have kept exploiting it for experience, but I think we're fine. We're doing well. I do think that Trash Monk may have died. There's a centipede four leg. I can probably drop a bunch of the uh, bunch of this stuff. I did not mean that. I always hit the uh, right arrow key. Does that? Um, oh no, that's a face. We want to keep that. Drop that. Drop this. Drop that face. I'll keep these hands these uh, from the from the legendary creature um all right battle axe please okay and then yes that um that spark tick mid leg we can drop okay here we go yeah uh this was this is the corpse of that trash monk um portable beehive is very cool you wear this on your back it gives us two dodge value i think we're doing that and it, it just makes honey too perpetually makes honey very nice uh i could take that honey and put it into a container do i have a container of honey no. Um, I think I can combine some of these water skins. Let's pour. This menu's getting bigger. Okay. Now we have two empty water skins. And yeah, I think I could pour this honey into a water skin. Nice. And it gives us reputation with flowers. Bees crawl over the back-mounted slatted rack. I like it. Um, now, we did remove the Isakari banner, which gives us one dodge value and some reputation with the Isakari, but two is better than one, so I hear. That is what the biased news media tells me. Um, okay, let's go left. 
So I guess it's good that the trash monk died. We already sold him stuff and got water. Uh, what are these? Aloe Volta. What, what is this here? What did I just get? Oh, a topaz gemstone. Yeah, I wanted to grab that before uh, that thing exploded. All right, we're all slimy. Can I harvest this Elevolta? No. I think if I destroyed it, I might, like, there's a chance it might drop, but I think it hurts you. I think it does electric damage. What is this? Oh, dilute slime. So it's slime with water. Is this fresh water or salty water? Oh, it's fresh water. I will take it. Um, all right, you all just keep fighting while I take your water. We're going to run out of room for all this water. I think I will clean, the, clean my items with it. All right, it's not taking up too much um, of our encumbrance, I don't think. It's taking a bit. All right, nice. Uh, that's a null worm that just got hit by a seed spitter, it seems. Let's get on this side. I don't want to be hit by the seed spitter. Ooh, cracked our chainmail. Let's, uh, oh, no, I said charge, but let's dismember you. We chopped off your tail, okay? I think I feel okay about this, yep. Yeah. Um, now, I don't like that you cracked our chainmail armor. It does lowered our armor value by one, but that should recover on its own. That was a glow crow. Oh, another trash monk. Talk to you. I'll buy your arrows. Why don't you take... Um, Take an iron battle axe. It just, what, what do we have that's cheap? An iron mace. There you go. Sure. I'll take, oh, a shotgun shell. Okay. These spiders are very easy at this point. This is a different trash monk? No, same one. Okay. Feeling good about where we are. Uh, everything we're fighting here is well matched for or easy for us even, but um, still giving us experience. Uh, do I go north? Let's try it. Is this salty water? Okay. Hello, bear. Dismember you. Uh, I think we missed there. Yep. Uh, bears aren't that difficult. They're giving us a hard time. We are bleeding. Okay. Um, I think we can wait this out. Yes, we stopped bleeding. Good. Uh, okay, Mr. Slime. I don't think I can dismember a slime, but let's see. Oh, I did it. I chopped off your pseudopod. That's disgusting. <laughs> Mobility impaired. Okay. Sure. Gross. Um, rest all healed. Aha! This is a residence miner. Let's use our discharge. I think I did it. Now we charge you. Sweet. 225. Um, experience. And then 200 rounds to recharge that discharge. But uh, that's just a mine we can pick up, I think. No. We took nine damage. I guess I should have take. Uh, I'm glad it didn't kill us. We should have tried to take it from the side. I was foolish. Um, 
but I'm glad we're alive. Chainmail is back to three armor. Yeah, I could have just killed us very easily. I, I don't I don't know. I feel like maybe I've successfully picked up a mine before, but I I just thought if we can see it, we surely won't be stupid enough to just grab it. Or to just, uh, sorry, walk on top of it. Is that fresh water? No. All right, we're taking care of these slimes pretty effectively. Heal up. Come here, Mr. Slime. Okay. Well, next time I see a mine, I'm going to try to pick it up from the side. Okay. 150 XP. Yeah, we're, we're almost level 10. Uh, I think these things are all neutral. No, they're hostile. All right, then let's um, get to a place where we only well, where we'll only be attacked by like one or two at a time. This is fine. Ooh. Yeah, let's, let's kill the uh, amoeba because they can paralyze us if they get a good hit in. All right, Restal healed. Cool. Oh, there are more. Is it okay that I'm standing in slime? I think so. Uh, all right. Well done. Can I clean things in the slime? No. I can clean things here. Felt like we got all slimy and bloody, probably. All right. This is an interesting wall. It's rock salt. Okay. What was that description? Carmine clouds assume their crystal habit. Cubes nested inside and out. Why does Magragi conceal this form from the sun? I tell you, Caves of Cut has the best writers. Sweet. Two hit points. Um... Okay, so we can now freely spend our skill points wherever we want. Um, 96 isn't enough for much, but we might want to get Decapitate. We might want to get Charging Strike. Um, and we might want to get Meal Preparation because we can Harvest and Butcher. Uh, shield Slam, probably want to get since we have four shields. Um... It's possible that because we have four arms, it might even make sense to... I don't know if this works, but put a shield in one of them and still have three weapons. Uh, a full shield rather than a buckler. And then, of course, we will probably at some point want tinkering. And at least, like, tinker one, disassemble. It's all a lot. We need more intelligence for all that. There's a goat. Funny place for a goat. All right. All right. It's uh, a lot of amoebas. All right. Healed. They only give us two XP. Uh, oh, okay. It's a lot of beetles. Um... We do have a m grenade. Seems like this uh, might be a good time to throw something like that. I think we'd have to run away a little bit first, though. Use as a thrown weapon. Um, does that work? Can it, if, is it going to hit the beetles if I throw it over there? I don't know how it works. I don't want to, like, throw something and it... Oh, it hits a beetle in front of me and we explode, you know? I'm going to sprint away a little bit. Okay. This is good. Throw. Was it there? Let's throw it there. All right, that worked pretty well. They hit 
They get a lot of attacks in, it seems. All right. That's enough. All right, we did destroy the uh, the spawner, so we're fine. I was a little worried about that. If we if we went back to heal. Uh, there is some graffiti. Marl. No pito something. I write by a cuspate beak for breaking through shale. Huh. All right. It didn't get any hits on us that penetrated our armor. Okay, so we're level 10. It might be worthwhile. Aha! Weird artifact. Oh, I can't just take it. I can examine it, though. Aha! Now that I know what it is, I can disarm it. Um, You know what? The last one only did 9 damage to us. Should we try it? Let's try it. This one did much more damage. But hey, it was fine. I probably shouldn't be taking those risks. Clean our items. Um, so yeah, we could we could leave. We could go to the six day stilt. I think we're high enough level um, to be able to like survive any dawn gliders that might attack us. In theory, we could go to a great gate. Or we just keep exploring here, which I'm kind of tempted to do. Um, let's... I could try to go north more, but let's... Um, let's maybe go south. Actually, let's go east here. I don't want to forget where the stairs are. Uh, a chair. And a tortoise. Come at me, tortoise. I assume you're hostile. Um, I'll dismember you. You took one damage from bleeding. Okay. Not bad. So this chair... I think we can examine it. Keep examining it. Carcass Kneader. What? It's fitted with a crankshaft that turns a dimpled rubber sheet and kneads kinks out of the hind parts of its sitter. Like a massage chair? For dead bodies? Wind it. Can I can I use it? I sit down on the carcass kneader. I stand up. Okay. Sit on it again. And I'm curious. Wind it while we're in it? Okay. Um, all right. Oh, it's bloody now because we sat on it well that was fun we got a little massage let's talk to this arco knot okay uh you definitely have stuff that we want to buy Actually, i don't know about that microchip um we have two gnollworm skulls don't we have a visored gnollworm skull that we're wearing I think we get rid of a lot of stuff um set of leather armor get rid of and Weapons. Okay. Thank you. Small metal box. Um, I guess examine it. A droid scarambler. I'll take that. And what is this next to us? Another weird artifact. Fix it spray foam. Excellent. Take that. 
Uh, you're just a regular null worm, right? A plated null worm. Good thing we dismember and cleave. Uh, yes, we are wearing a visor null worm skull, which, right, gives us an extra dodge value. Very cool. All right, come at me. Dismember. Oh, all right. One, two, three, four. Dismember. We chopped off its tail. Okay. Um, it cracked our null worm skull. I guess it saw us as a one of its own and was attacking the null worm part of us. But it didn't actually do any damage to us. Something over here. Oh, you're not hostile, are you? What are you firing at? Oh, a rifle turret. And we're almost dead. Um... Okay. We couldn't even see the rifle turret. What can we do? Do we have... Um, we don't have a salve injector or anything. I don't think there's much I can do. Um, can I use a recoiler to get out of here? Or are we too close to, um, you know what? I'm afraid because I, uh, where is it? I, I always forget. It's tools. Yeah, there's no, we didn't put a cell in it. I think we sprint and leave. Oh, man. Keep keep the trash monk between us. We're totally gonna die here, aren't we? We have two hit points. Three hit points. Three hit points. Oh, man. This game is very unfair sometimes. We couldn't even see the thing. I should have switched out the recoiler. Well, actually, I don't know. Uh, because we're... There's a hostile near us. I don't think it would let us use it. I'm just going to hope that we're getting away fast enough. I'm going to go down and left. I'm not sure what the trajectory of this thing is. And hope we don't die, but I think we might. It missed us. I think we're still in range, though. Wow, we're getting kind of lucky here. Let's lugs whizzing by. <sighs> Keep going. Hide behind this tree. All right. That was very, very lucky that we did not die. Very, very lucky. Um, don't want to go back there not being able to see so let's not alright that's the kind of very dangerous thing that we can come across and not really have any defense over um, I think I will put that chem cell in the uh, recoiler why not it's only going to use it up if we use it. Oh. Great. All right, let's go. Oh, sap. Collect you. Let's go down. <laughs> that was that was skin of our teeth survival. That what was that? A thistle. We can charge it. Dead. Yeah, you want to stay near defense like this. Did that dog just kill the thing for us? Oh, a trash monk did. Oh, a trash monk was actually fighting the dog. That's kind of sad, trash monk. You should be better. We can sell that null worm skull. We know we're wearing one. Um... And that's it. That's plenty. Okay. 
Uh, are you hostile? You are. Wah. Wah, says the leech. Come here, little cave spider. Can't run from us. Uh, that's another thistle. Oh, thistles make us thirsty. Good thing we have a lot of water. I forgot about that. We've almost died twice in this game so far. We died once. We almost died once because we ran out of water. And then we just almost died to a rifle turret we couldn't see. Why is this one so tough? We're just not cleaving through its armor. All right. Yeah, almost dying in this game happens way too often. Okay. Nothing too interesting. Let's search over to the east, I think. Well, what's over here first? Okay. Okay. An Equimax. Seed spitters. What? Action cue inconsistency? Removing invalid object? All right. I think that must be a uh, dev branch thing. Hopefully we're fine. These things don't do a lot of damage to us. 41 hit points. We're feeling much more confident now. Although we... Did almost just die. <laughs> yeah, right, come at me. Uh, is this fresh water? It is. Guess we collect all this fresh water. Never mind, we are out of space. We have uh, 100 and whatever 128 plus 64 is. 172. Drams of water. Uh, Corpus Coleus. This. All right. So I don't know. I guess this is a corpse that spawned here. Um, this is some cool stuff. So the Corpus Coleus is the one of the only books I know that, like, this... If you get diseased, the Corpus Coleus has the recipe that's, I think, procedurally generated every game for how to get rid of those diseases. If we get Glot Rot, that's what you do. Um, if we get Fickle Gill, there's what you do. You know, uh, or I thought, I think the treatment regimen for all fungal infections is the same. First, an antifungal cream must be concocted from gel, desalinated slime, and blood. The patient then consumes a raw seed sprout worm corpse to stimulate intestinal immunity. So I think that's a procedurally generated thing. So very cool. Uh, we'll take that. Um... This patchwork coat, what's this all about? Cold resistance. Cool. Uh, this wrist blade looks like an amazing weapon. If we use short blades, we'll certainly take it and sell it. This hand axe may be better than our steel battle axe. Seven and 1d3 plus one. Uh, let me just take it for now and then I'll compare it. Um, upper left hand yeah okay so steel hand axe is better than the iron yes 
Cool, cool, cool. Uh, what is just a moldering corpse there? So that's a good find. Um, you should be okay. Let me charge you. Get a little extra attack in. Let's dismember. Took out your, took off your, um, face. One of your faces. All right, I grabbed your face. <laughs> Uh, that's a Boomrose arrow. I think that's a Trash Monk, yeah. That's a neutral character. Somewhere up here. Somewhere there's a Trash Monk. Let's heal up. There you are. <laughs> Keeps going away when I try to chat. Uh, yeah, I'll take all your arrows. And, um... I think we want the Visored Mask... Uh, Visored Skull over the Slender one. The Slender one just weighs less. Um... We'll sell you some weapons. Don't need this iron battle axe. Great. Kudzu, stay away from. Yeah, let let uh the trash monk deal with it. An arco knot, same one that we talked to. No, different one. You have a water skin too. That's, I don't know what that tube is, but um, it's very expensive. The water skin is expensive. Well, we have stuff. Um, sell you this. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Good to me. Um, and then I think the water containers there. Yeah, we can combine our cider. And now we have an empty water skin, which we could, in theory, fill with more water. If we want. I think we're fine on water, though. I mean, water is money, but it's heavy money. Ideally, you want to trade that for, like, copper nuggets or other trade goods. Kudzu stem. And you... Yeah, you. we already sold you stuff. Okay. I mean, I guess I might as well fill it with water. Snap jaws. Easy. And you have artifacts. I'm just going to examine it. Nope. Shouldn't have done it. All right. Well, I'll take it. Is someone attacking me? Whoops. Drop that corpse. Um... Yeah, kobolds, I mean kobolds, snapjaws, uh, even though they're very weak, they can still have good stuff on them. What is here? I'll take that steel longsword. That probably sells for a bunch. And our uh, inventory is looking much better. We can just kill this baboon. Um, I think that's a hunter. Are we bleeding? No. A lot of young ivories here. Take that short bow. Heal up. Come here, baboon. They don't really give us XP anymore, but they're annoying, so. You ran away. Let me auto explore. Is that bear not hostile? It is. Why why didn't we stop when we saw it? Alright, um. Let's go up here. Now that rifle can't attack us. 
Okay. How? All right, let's um discharge. Dismember. We chopped off its middle hard point. Cool. And we took that hard point. And we got a lot of lead slugs. All right, heal up. See how good discharge is? It would be very scary killing that thing. And the miner we killed earlier without that. What is... Oh, it's a thistle. I'm not nervous about losing water. We are a bit hungry. Uh, so let's make a fire. Oh, yeah, we, we can go berserk. I should be going berserk. Um, I should end this episode, though. So I think next episode, hopefully I remember to use our berserk skill on something worthwhile. Uh, oh, we got plus five quickness. Nice. I enjoyed playing with you today, and I will see you next time. Bye, everybody.